weekend is a very musical <laughs> weekend in the triad. And maybe you want to get out of the rain and go indoors and enjoy the Winston-Salem Symphony because they are holding another one of its classic concert series. Our next live guest can tell you all about it this morning. I'm super excited to hear about this and here with us now is Vladimir Kulinovich. He's the guest conductor of this weekend's performance. It's so great to have you with us this morning. Thank you so much and good morning and it's uh, great to be here. Absolutely. Well, honestly, when you hear about a conductor, you just think that this is the person who's truly in charge of the show and really knows what's going on behind the scenes. So how did you even get started in, the, in this profession? Which made you want to be a conductor? Well, you know, my parents were musicians and my father was a composer. Sometimes he would conduct his own pieces and um, theft was how I got in to conducting. I stole his conducting baton. I was about like two and a half years old oh. <laughs> and I made it my first toy. You know, it's like a cute little childhood story, but it actually kept on going through the years. And uh, that's really how it uh, remained. I, I still love my uh, toy baton and um, I got serious with it. And, um, you know, um, playing with friends here at the Winston-Salem Symphony is just a treasure. And what drew you to the triad, Vladimir? I mean, how does it feel to be auditioning to be the Winston-Salem Symphony, you know, director? You know, I had the benefit of uh, having known these uh, guys before. Uh, this is my fourth time uh, in town, second time conducting a concert. And you're really hard pressed to find a team of people, musicians, but even even past that, with this or whole organization working more, more closely together and achieving really great results. Those results are musical, but they're also community-based. So this is an organization with a purpose. It's so exciting to be a part of this purpose. And um, yeah, that's, that's in short, um, the reason why I do what I do. So this is um, a wonderful thing to be a part of. This sounds amazing. And Vladimir, I know that you're also going to be working with a very special guest artist, the cellist, Julian Schwartz. Now, I understand that this is not the first time that you two have worked together. You've got a bit of history there. Can you sort of explain what it's going to be like when you guys are able to put on this performance? Yeah, Julian is really one of the most amazing cellists uh, today. Uh, he's a, a great collaborator. So this team spirit of this orchestra community really extends to us guests who come and contribute to this. And uh, coincidentally, Julian and I worked here uh, in Winston-Salem. We worked uh, you know, with my orchestra um, as well, and um, you know, we will work throughout uh, the engagements going forward, but uh, it's really a special opportunity um, to come as the team. So this is not just the first iteration, we're continuing the story, continuing the journey uh, here all together as a, as a solid team. Awesome. And maybe to someone that is new to classical music, what can you share about this weekend's specific upcoming performance that you think would really draw people out there? Yeah, this program is all about storytelling and it's about history and it's about future. What I mean by that, you know, Florence Price is the composer with whom we are opening this program. And she was a luminary. She was the first black female American composer to be performed by a major orchestra in 1933 by the Chicago Symphony. And her story is very important because it gives us perspective of the past and the perspective of the brighter future. Uh, you're going to hear some familiar familiar tunes like nobody knows the trouble I've seen, you know, and these uh, familiar spirituals which are based in her music. Haydn and Bartok, the other two composers on the program, do the same thing. They take some of the popular, some of the folk, and they bring it into the concert hall. So it's really a unity of musical styles within the concert halls, which we are displaying here, and, and a great um, community story. So music and outside of music in the greater community. Mm -hmm. Wow, sure, that's wow. beautiful. That sounds amazing. And just to hear the history mm -hmm. that's going to be behind mm -hmm. it, I'm sure this is going to make an impact for the ages. Thank you so much for being with us. We're super excited. Thanks for having me. And of course, you can catch him in the Winston-Salem Symphony this weekend. Those tickets are going to be going on sale for their Saturday and Sunday shows. They're going to be there at the website that's on your screen, wssymphony.org.